Marvin Harrison Jr., the man, the myth, the legend, maybe the most hyped wide receiver prospect ever. In his sophomore season at Ohio State, he had over 1,150 yards and 12 touchdowns while averaging 16.1 yards per reception, more than any other Ohio State receiver since 1995. Overall, he led the FBS last year in yards and touchdowns against man coverage and also in explosive plays. He was a one-man show. He was so good that he literally lowered C.J. Stroud's value in a lot of people's eyes because it seemed like Marvin made Stroud's job too easy. A 6'4 receiver with his speed and production, it's hard to find many comparisons. He wasn't as productive as Justin Jefferson, Jamar Chase, or Devontae Smith in college, but his physical profile is much more promising than all of those guys. He's taller than Julio Jones and put up better numbers in college with less games played. He has a similar physical profile to A.J. Green, but a different playing style. Harrison is quick and has more twitch, while Green used more strength and toughness. Nonetheless, these are some good names to be mentioned with. Is Harrison the best out of the bunch? Is he the best receiver prospect since Calvin Johnson? Is he the best ever? There's only one way to know. Let's check the film. Before we get into the film session, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more football content. And please let me know which NFL or college football player you want to see me analyze in the next video. First play, you don't even need X's and O's on this one. Neutral zone infraction, you can't do that right there. Everyone stops playing besides Marvin. Stroud throws up the one-on-one -on -one ball, and this is what Harrison does best. Reading throws and adjusting. He puts his hand up, and he's not even open here. He uses his strength and times this little push-off perfectly, displaying how good he is at adjusting the passes. When I did a video on Jamar Chase a few years ago, still on my channel by the way, I was impressed at how Chase was able to make closed windows into open throwing lanes with his ability to twist his body and adjust the passes. Defenders would be right on him and then he had the ability to just turn, adjust his body and snatch pass in the blink of an eye. Harrison has similar ability downfield. This DB probably thought he was in good position. Marvin goes from completely covered to easy catch in basically a millisecond. Just amazing timing. Here on this play, Michigan runs a cover zero blitz, so the safeties are sneaking up. This means Marvin Harrison is matched up one-on-one -on -one again. This play probably displays Marvin's insane tracking ability better than any other. Randy Moss has said that elite receivers are able to look back on a deep ball being thrown from their QB and judge where the ball is going to land. This basically means that they don't have to try to find it last second and or slow down their route or rhythm. These are small things that can be hard to notice but make a humongous difference. So back to the play, the blitz comes in, Marvin runs up the sideline. Now look at where he is on the route when the ball's thrown. Not really any kind of advantage in the route. And as you slowly move forward, he still seems covered, but at the last second as he's looking back, he accelerates as the ball's coming in and makes himself wide open. When he did look completely covered for most of the route, just incredible closing speed. And he's just a killer when the ball's in the air. Georgia showing a 5-2 front here. They're going to drop back. The lone safety is going to play the strong side half. The corner on Harrison looks to be playing man, but with underneath help from a zone defender in the flat. This is a tough assignment for this corner. Harrison is going to execute this play very well. Two outbreaking routes on the other side of the field, so Harrison has a lot of space to work. This corner clearly starts anticipating an over slash in breaking route here, which Harrison sells well. And then Marvin shows off great route running with his subtle head fake and quick cut. Completely alters the speed and rhythm very quickly. At his size, very impressive. Creates a wide open passing window. And an easy throw for Stroud. Against Kalen King on this play. A projected first round cornerback lined up showing press. So this is a good test for Harrison. As the ability to beat press is often what separates the top wide receiver prospects at the next level. And I can say that Harrison is very good against press coverage. Pre-snap, King seems to be sitting back in his press stance. So Harrison doesn't expect any immediate contact. King looks to be waiting to attack Harrison at his second or third step downfield. But Marvin reads this and explodes down the field. There's no reason for any fancy footwork here. Harrison reads what the defender is giving him and exploits it. Makes a great catch downfield. He's got speed, size, technique, and smarts. Penn State showing and running cover one. And there's a clear mismatch here. Looks like a safety is on Marvin. Who's running an in route. 
Safety's not really getting any help on the inside. So this should be an easy play. Harrison attacks the space. Defender doesn't budge. So he hits him with a heavy fake. Quickly turns his body inside. And creates a huge throwing window. And he has space up the field. He can make plays from any alignment really. He has the speed and strength to dominate outside. And also the quickness and route running ability to make defenders look silly on the inside. Later on in the game, Penn State tries to bring pressure near the end of the first half. Kalen King tries to press Harrison again. This time King decides to be more aggressive. He gets a good jump, but Marvin feels it and is able to avoid most of the contact and gains leverage quickly in the route. Little thing there, but his mind is always working and he processes coverages very well. And then he's also able to make monster adjustments like this. Stroud should be throwing to the back shoulder here. The ball veers off to the inside of the field a bit. But Harrison times his jump well and shows great hands. A back shoulder throw to Marvin is basically impossible to cover because of the deep threat he poses with his speed, with the strength he has to jostle for position, and his lightning quick adjustment ability. Speaking of impossible to cover, even a defensive holding can't stop Harrison. A little shake and bake here off the line. Huge hold at the top of the route. But Marvin just too strong, fights through the illegal contact, makes a tough grab. I mean, there's not even much to say. To say he's a grown man is an understatement. He's a grown alien. And here's one last play. Another go route against man coverage. Super fast off the line and makes a crazy over the shoulder catch. He locates the ball and turns his body in less than a millisecond. Just unbelievable ability. Okay, so what's the verdict? I think he's definitely a superstar wide receiver. Should be one of the best as soon as he gets to the NFL. I previously said that Jamar Chase would be a first team all pro early on in his career. And I could definitely see that for Harrison as well. Now on the topic of Chase, he did have more volume in college and had some serious tape. But I do think Harrison gets the edge as a prospect. They have similar football skill, but Harrison is taller and stronger and a little bit faster. So therefore, I think he really could be a top three receiver in the NFL very quickly. He's just got it all. I think I'm comfortable saying that he's the best wide receiver prospect to come out in at least the past decade and a half. He can do anything from any alignment, excels pre-snap during the release, stemming his routes, adjusting the passes. He can win in all areas of the field. He's just a straight up Hall of Fame talent. So those are my thoughts on Marvin Harrison Jr. Please do let me know what you think of him in the comments. And yeah, that's all from me. I'm out.